Oxygen heart lungs, blood and muscles, blood and muscles, oxygen heart lungs, blood and muscles, blood and muscles. Hi boys and girls, and welcome to PE with Miss McGill. Now, this doesn't exactly look like me, but it'll do for now. Now, I've decided to call you guys exercisers because, let's face it, when you're with me, you are exercisers. You're exercising your body and your mind. Get ready for week nine because it's going to be a very fun, exciting, and interesting week of learning. So come and join me with anybody that you'd like in your family, in your house, even grandpa. Previous teaching point. Previous teaching point. You know, what we learned last week. The difference between a muscle and a joint. And selecting an appropriate stretch for a particular activity. Connection. Now that we know how to select appropriate stretches for particular activities, we're going to be much more prepared to move and exercise. But have you ever thought about how we can do this? How are we able to exercise? This week, I'm going to teach you about how our body is able to do that. Our current group goal is learning the relationship between the heart, blood, muscles, lungs, and... Teaching point. This week, before we warm up our bodies, we're going to exercise our minds. Exercisers, today I want to teach you about how we're able to exercise through the relationship between the heart, lungs, muscles, blood, and oxygen during physical activity. First, we breathe in oxygen, also known as air through our nose and mouth. Say oxygen with me three times. Ready, go. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Second, lungs bring oxygen into the body. Say lungs with me three times. Ready, go. Lungs, lungs, lungs. Third, the heart pumps the blood. Say heart with me three times. Ready, go. Heart, heart, heart. Step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. Say blood with me three times. Ready, go. Blood, blood, blood. Step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Say muscles with me three times. Ready, go. Muscles, muscles, muscles. And now, it's time to play a new game. The funnest game in the whole world and maybe even in outer space and stuff. Called Matchy Matchy Matchmaker. You will have to match the picture to the correct step. Does the picture on top match step five? Blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Or, step one, we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth. And, the correct match is, step one, we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth. Does this picture match step three, heart pumps the blood, or step two, lungs bring oxygen into the body? The correct match is step two, lungs bring oxygen into the body. Here you can see the arrows that represent oxygen being brought into the body by the lungs. Does this picture match step three, 
heart pumps the blood, or step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. The correct match is step three, heart pumps the blood. Does the picture match step one, we breathe in oxygen through our nose and mouth, or step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells? The correct match is step four, oxygen sticks to red blood cells. Yay! Does the picture match step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels, or step two, lungs bring oxygen into the body. The correct match is step five, blood transports oxygen to your muscles using blood vessels. Now it's time to stand up and warm up our muscles.
shoulder stretch. Tricep stretch. Behind the back shoulder stretch. Oblique stretch. Trapezius stretch. <laughs> Neck extensor stretch. Neck roll. Quad stretch. Spider-Man stretch. And now it's time for the PPC. That stands for planks, push-ups, and curl-ups. Go ahead and get into position now with your back flat, no booty mountain, and no booty valley. Now what is your plank goal today? Make sure your goal for today is either the same as yesterday or one second longer. The timer will be going all the way to 60 seconds for planks. Ready? Let's go! One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60.
We'll now begin the push-up section. Ready? Begin. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Up. Nine. Down. Up. Ten. What is your curl-up goal? While we get into position, I want you thinking about what your curl-up goal is for today. We're going to start by sitting down on our bottoms. Then we're going to put our feet flat on the ground. We can use someone to hold our feet down if it's really tough for us to come up like this. Then we go feet flat, hands flat, and our knees to the sky. We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. Up. Down. One. Up. Down. Two. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Four. Up. Down. Five. Up. Down. Six. Up. Down. Seven. Up. Down. Eight. Up. Down, nine, up, down, ten, up, down, eleven, up, down, twelve. Re Going to teach you how to volley an object with a partner using the forearm pass. If you don't have a partner available to volley with, you may pass to yourself. Volley means keeping the ball off of the ground by hitting it up in the air by yourself or to a partner. Do they have to have a volleyball for this lesson? No, it can be any kind of ball. Any kind of ball? Well, like one that's big and bouncy and one that's not going to hurt them. Oh, now you're clarifying what type of ball they can use. Mm -hmm. What if they don't have a ball? What are they gonna do then? If they don't have a ball, they can just pretend. They can pass an imaginary ball to themselves or with a partner. I used to do that all the time when I was little. Okay, you didn't know we were doing story time back when you were little. Okay, we covered it. They're going to use a round ball that's a bouncier ball. If they've got one, nothing like a baseball. And if they don't have a ball, that's okay. They can pretend to have a ball. Okay, thank you. Let's start by reviewing where the forearms are. Here. Now I want you to tap your forearms with me. Forearms, 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 forearms. Next, hand placement. There are three different ways you can place your hands. Thumbs up. Wrap around, thumbs down. My favorite is thumbs up, wrap around, thumbs down. Thumbs up, wrap around, thumbs down. It's my favorite because I feel like I can let my hands go and bring them back together quickly. Pick your hand position now. Now that you're in position and you've picked your hand placement, your forearms are showing and we're making what's called a platform. We'll use our platform to pass the ball. We're going to volley with ourselves. We can volley with a ball or with an imaginary ball. And you can volley with a partner if you have a partner. We'll go shoulder width apart for this. Thumbs up, wrap around, thumbs down. Let's practice our forearm pass without a ball. Keep your elbows locked. 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 
today for your five minutes. Whether you're volleying by yourself or with a partner, I want you to count how many passes you can make in a row before the ball hits the ground. Try to beat your record every time. Remember, you should always start with your dominant foot forward.
and let's do one last round of volleying before we go to our cool down. We have to warm up our bodies and we have to cool them down to prevent injury. During cool down number one, we want to make sure that our shoulders are back and that they're above our hips and that our ears are above our shoulders so we're not leaning forward. Place one hand on your chest and one on your abdomen. Take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Focus on nothing else but your breathing right now. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Now keep breathing at your own pace. Breathe in, chest in. Breathe out, abdomen out. Breathe in, chest in. Breathe out, abdomen out. Have both of your hands switch places. And one last deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now arm raises in and out. You may go at your own pace. Next, spread your feet apart and put your hands over the center of your chest. Take a deep breath in and twist to the side. Deep breath out and come back to the center of your chest. Switch hands, deep breath in, out. Switch hands, deep breath in and out. Back to the center switch hands. Continue at your own pace. While you're breathing, remember to take care of yourself. Remember that you are important. Remember to always look in your mirror and not out your window. stance you can point your toes out next you can put your palms together or you can put your hands together any way that feels comfortable you're going to bring your elbows back and forward opening up your chest and closing it back up again breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. You can bring your head into it if you'd like. Breathe in, head up. Breathe out all the way down. Continue at your own pace.
One last time, in through your nose, arms backwards, out through your mouth, arms forwards. Excellent job today. And a special thank you to our inspiration, our friends at the Niroga Institute who visited our teachers.